I believe that video blogging is going to be an important part of the future of mainstream media. And certain mainstream media are embracing it in a big way and doing a great job, uh, or are at least experimenting. Uh, the New York Times company is certainly one uh, by giving David Carr, the media critic, uh, a camera and a crew uh, to go around and create really interesting, definitely untimes like uh, video packages. And I think it's indicative of the opportunities that print media have to create a new kind of form of video that's not slick, it's not broadcast TV, it's just good, fun, solid video reporting. So here's David. Hi, welcome back to the Carpet Bagger. It's freezing out here tonight. Global warming is in hand. I've got the, the Carpet Bagger himself, David. Congratulations on the uh, on the on the blog. It's it's going great. So the look of it is not times like the video blog, but in a way, the medium has to be redefined. It's not like a CNN package or a, a traditional broadcast package. It's different. Video reporting or video blogging that it's really different from a traditional news package. What, what are your thoughts about that? The, the idea of what looks good now I think has changed. I mean, people want look what looks real and what looks... I'm obviously not a television person either by voice or by look. I more, look more like a homeless guy in Times Square than I do a TV star. Um, I do think that at the beginning of the year we started talking about what we would do with the carpet bagger and they talked about two cameras, more production, and I said, you know what, you improve this at your peril. Has to look natural, has to look fresh. I'm a reporter who's doing video reports. It shouldn't look any different than that. It shouldn't be any slicker, any fancier. Um, what we try and put across in doing the video in Times Square is that this is where America meets, okay? It's, there is every manner of folk out here. The movies is something that brings people together. And of all the things I do, doing these MOSs, man on the streets, with people, I love that. I love talking to people. That's what people are connecting with. They don't see me as a big ex Oscar expert or a big movie expert. I don't think people are looking for fun. They're looking for entertainment. I think they're looking for expertise or great production values in a very secondary way on the web. Now, now stepping out from what you're doing personally and creatively, do you think that video will be embraced by mainstream media and do you think that they, w they can succeed uh, more broadly? Well, if you look on, on the newspaper side, um, I think the Washington Post has had some significant uh, uh, success in doing videos and bringing value at it. It isn't like, let's replicate what we do, let's try something else. I think some of the Times videos have been very successful. Magazines, a little less so, although their examples, Time Out New York has real cute stuff. Um, I've seen some sort of enthusiast sites for like snowmobile magazines that look really good. Um, part of what is going to happen is consumers, if you look at like TMZ, which does gossip, you have text, you have headlines, and you've got embedded video. That's what people are becoming used to, is within that frame, all forms of media expressed, each carrying bits of information that they consume at the same time. Where do you see consumer-generated content going next year? Do you think that publications like the Times or other mainstream media will actually use some of that material? Will that other material become more serious? Uh, you know, right now we've seen a lot of stuff that's funny, humorous, there is some cultural videos out there, some interesting political videos, but where will consumer generated video, where will the sort of, you know, the citizen video revolution go this year, do you think? Do you have any thoughts about that? Um, well, consumer video works on the algorithm of the wisdom of the crowd. The crowd pushes up that which they like. So they like funny, they like lewd, uh, somebody that does a lengthy exegist on the Holocaust on video is probably not going to do all that great. But already mainstream media's MTV, media, MTV over here um, is grabbing onto some of <coughs> not just consumer generated video but some of the people that make it and starting to bring them into um, sort of the corporate structure and so <coughs> I think you're going to see 
Uh, increased marriage, hybrid, sometimes on site, sometimes not. Uh, increased exchanges between citizens and corporations. Video is, after, way, after all, a way of sending messages, and it's a way of talking to each other. So that conversation is really only bound to increase. Well, David, thanks very much. Tell me what you're up to tonight. What's going on in, uh, with, with, uh, with your taping, and when might we see this on the Time site? Well, when might we see this on the beat side? Ah, maybe, uh, I don't want to scoop you. I know. So, I know. So, all right, I know, I know. It's like we can't say what's in the editing bin. At any rate, I know you're off to... to well, you know what we're going to do first is get one of these. Look at this. Yeah, that's nice. I know. We want one of these. It says says Bagger on it, not BTV. You can have it back. Um, we're going to National uh, Board of Review, which is over at Cipriani. We're going to do a little red carpet. We're, we're going to try and sneak in there and uh, uh, talk to some celebrities. That's a little tougher because they're used to a very formal sign of, sort of dynamic. And they never really seem to know what to make of me. It's like, who is this guy? And is he going to hit me with the microphone? And, you know. It's not Entertainment Tonight or Access Hollywood. Right, it's like a little bit, you know. Looking at me and going, who does his hair and makeup, you know? Uh, but we, the primary dynamic, sort of the, the, the ethic of the show, is we're supposed to have a good time. So we're going to go over there. We're going to take whatever's there. And then through the magic of editing, come up with a package that people will be able to tune into New York Times and you know what they can not only watch it but now we've got it all set up on iTunes so you can download them all and if you choose to get on an airplane and watch serial versions of the carpet beggar I don't know why you would I wouldn't watch it with your eyes um, you can that's the thing is that, that new th I hadn't heard about that it's brand new it's being announced too so we got a big news break on oh, BTV oh man I got the big scoop yeah any anyway, rate uh, David, congratulations on doing an amazing job and really defining what newspapers can do in terms of creating a different form of video uh, reporting. And it's really, really good, and I wish you all the best. Great. The great thing is it's made me incredibly wealthy. I've had author offers from all sorts of networks. Agents? Book deals? I'm not going to get in the middle. I'd let agents get in the middle of it. It's just the great thing about web TV is how lucrative it is. It's just been incredible. Last week, I think I got a ba box of dirt for what I did, but it was a nice box of dirt. It's, it's for the good cause. You're a pioneer, man. Congratulations. All right. All right.